instructions, effective instructions in the classroom. Uh, for effective classroom management, we should uh, we should use effective instructions in the classroom, I think. Uh, and instructions of the teacher should be uh, clear, should be clean and short. Uh, and a teacher, it is better to show than to tell the students. And uh, teachers should avoid giving lots of instructions at uh, one time because it uh, can confuse the learners and they can lose, uh, might lose their motivation in uh, doing tasks uh, and also we viewed um, lesson uh, planning and uh, we should include standards uh, into uh, our lesson planning and then we should uh, clearly uh, choose objectives uh, lesson aims in choosing uh, lesson aims objectives we uh, can use smart technology uh, smart is abbreviation the uh, s means uh, stands for uh, specific m stands for measurable uh, a stands for achievable r stands for uh, relevant and t stands for time bound. Uh, so we should use a smart technology in uh, uh, just setting our objectives then we should uh, we should include resources that we shall use in the classroom then interaction models this means that peer work group work uh, or individual work uh, we shall use in the classroom uh, then we shall define uh, interdisciplinary approach uh, curricula links uh, that means links with other subjects as well as uh, mm -hmm. We uh, shall, uh, we have to use uh, good procedures uh, in the classroom, proper timing for uh, every stage of our classroom, as well as uh, my wish at the beginning of the lesson, we should use icebreakers in order to improve collaboration between students and uh, building good rapport uh, among students. Uh, then uh, we last time we viewed a material that showed that sometimes it becomes challenging to uh, manage uh, large classroom. classrooms. Uh, sometimes uh, it becomes uh, uh, challenging to check exercises, written exercises, as well as to direct all the learners attention to the uh, to doing tasks and uh, also some students may have low motivation and it also uh, might be challenging to motivate uh, some students uh, in large uh, classrooms and also we uh, learned that for effective classroom management, we should have uh, expectations in the classroom as well as rules and procedures uh, in order not to uh, interrupt the uh, normal flow of the lesson. Then uh, last time we also viewed generic skills that teachers should form in learners. Generic skills are uh, collaboration, um, uh, first communication skills. Communication includes both in your native language and also in foreign languages, then collaboration, uh, skill, then IT skills, information technology skills, information skills, uh, as well as uh, um, problem solving, uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills, creativity uh, teachers uh, should uh, form in their uh, learners while teaching a foreign language. Uh, then uh, we learned that uh, a good uh, lesson uh, plan is also very important for teachers uh, because it will save time. It will uh, also uh, lead to proper classroom management, effective classroom ma management. Uh, teachers should encourage uh, learners use uh, the target language in the classroom as uh, much as possible. Then uh, teachers should create effective uh, environment in the uh, stress-free uh, environment in the classroom. So every learner, uh, so that every learner uh, feels himself or herself free to ask questions and uh, mistakes uh, must be viewed as chances for learning. Uh, and also teachers should uh, provide provide good uh, proper seating arrangement in the classroom and also lighting uh, overall good uh, environment in the classroom. Uh, everyone, every learner should feel free to ask questions. Uh, everyone should be encouraged to participate. And uh, also the teacher should um, just incorporate four language domains, uh, listening, speaking, writing, and reading every time in each classroom. Uh, then, 
a teacher should use uh, authentic mm -hmm. visuals in the classroom in order to differentiate his, 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 his or her instruction, uh, should uh, take into account the learning preferences of every uh, learner, uh, visual learners, kinesthetic learners, and as well as audio learners, musical learners, naturalistic ones. Uh, teachers should um, uh, present role plays and as well as uh, visual aids, mind maps, co concept maps, uh, or some listening materials for ODL students, some role plays for kinesthetic students. And in this way, a uh, teacher can differentiate uh, the instruction and can take into consideration the different uh, learning preferences of the learners. Uh, then uh, uh, we uh, also looked um, through the stages of language learning. Uh, some people uh, estimate B A1 level, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, but I can also put it like uh, beginner level, elementary level, pre-intermediate, intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced proficiency. Uh, then uh, we last time viewed uh, types of tests, uh, placement tests, uh, diagnostic tests, uh, just uh, formative tests, summative tests. Uh, I learned from the material that placement test is very similar to uh, diagnostic test. In order you assess uh, learners uh, just le language level. If you uh, receive uh, enroll uh, learners into your classroom, new learners, uh, then you can use placement tests. Uh, well. Uh, and uh, overall, I can uh, generalize that for good, effective English language uh, lesson, teacher should provide good uh, seating arrangement. A teacher should have a good lesson plan, effective lesson plan. Teacher is uh, free to make amendments in the uh, lesson plan uh, because uh, every time he or she meets new uh, just uh, uh, conditions, the condition changes, the environment changes, and it, uh, the teacher should adapt to new conditions uh, so teachers should always have plan b to use in the classroom uh, then uh, teachers should create effective environment stress-free environment that uh, learners uh, feel themselves very free to ask questions uh, i think that's all uh, that i can say for today thank you for listening thank you very much uh it's say the stage uh, in our last lessons okay sorry uh, sorry, may I ask a question uh, from a lot of teacher? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you. Uh, a lot of teacher, if you uh, if you have a, you you have uh, students who quarrel with uh, each other, uh, what concrete uh, procedure can you apply? Okay. Uh, well, I can uh, have uh, I can have personal meeting with a personal conversation with each of them. I shall uh, figure out what, what happened, and in this way, I can solve uh, the conflict. But uh, they quarrel; they beat each other uh, during your lesson. Uh, sorry, uh, I have guests. Uh, I, I can't uh, answer your questions. I'm very sorry. I have guests here. I'm I very sorry. That how can you manage conflict in your during your lesson? She wants to ask this. Yes, to the teacher. Did you ask such question? Yeah, I uh, I want to get a, uh, an advice okay, about yes. solving such problems. How? Can you manage the situation uh, during your class? They are with each other. They are very, um, they are, they not pay attention. Yes, they not pay attention to your lesson, and you they have conflict with each other. She's they quarrel. Just, they beat each other. They quarrel yeah. and they beat each other. Ah, every time they have quarrel. Yeah. Between each other. Yes. Okay. Uh, teacher, can you ask? Okay, uh, let's discuss it in uh, groups. You ask your questions to teachers and you uh, you answer these questions and you talk about it. If you want, if you don't have any answer for questions, you can just uh, say, uh, tell the 
lesson part lesson like a little teacher and you can retell it you she said all of the uh, management about the management of classroom management uh, and I think uh, she uh, said all about it and you can say you can see uh, the uh, the lesson um from a lot of teacher okay let's break let's have breakout rooms we'll discuss there what's the breakout rooms just in minute, please we'll have breakout rooms we'll discuss there just in minute, please oh. okay I'm creating the group. Please be active and open your cameras and discuss the topic. You can, yeah, I said, you can uh, talk about the uh, last lessons, about the lessons procedures, uh, classroom management or something else. And ask also questions. You, you, you can answer, or you can ask questions with each other. And if you want, you can just answer the question. Okay. I am opening the rooms. We'll have we'll have um thirty minutes. Uh, what could sorry?